the, the pitfalls of um, forgetting because so much information is connected to so much other information, you lose track, even though it's all related. Because <laughs> I talked about when my mother died and the point I was trying to make, and I got lost out on that tree, the tree of creation, seated races on the tree of creation, right? Uh, because this is really related to what we call the perception of power, particularly through money. So I knew as a child, I was wanting to get rid of that money as fast as I possibly could. Why is that? Because you're a polarity integrator and you're running a calculator with an addition and a subtraction keypad built in which means you're a built-in mathematician as a polarity integrator in order to balance what? Planetary landscape, a magnetosphere, a magnet, magnets or mirrors, magnet zero, zero ohms, all the rest of it, center point of a sphere. So what that meant was I was giving everything away as fast as I could in order to do what? Balance. Because you're able to measure the landscape, the planetary consciousness, terrain, and the imbalance, which is based on measuring as a polarity integrator on a planetary level, how much electrical resistance there is in the other going in the other way, which is why I use a metaphor of time card programming, chasing clocks and gearheads. They're always chasing the calendar. Hey, I don't get paid for two more weeks. How am I going to manage my budget? And I can only spend 20 bucks today on this calendar. And I can only spend 40 bucks tomorrow on this calendar. And that's what holds consciousness energy, soul consciousness energy trapped. The clocks and calendars. Okay. Which are leashes and collars and cages, otherwise known as a box. Okay. They're a checkerboard. Duality. Binary codes. Binary math codes. So when my mother died in 1997, um, she passed on to me through courtesy of a man named Charlie Waters. And Charlie Waters happened to be, actually he started out as a stock boy uh, for a company called Simpson, Spence and Young. Simpson? Wallace Simpson? Who's Wallace Simpson? Wasn't Wallace Simpson married to King Edward? Whoa. See, I don't have an ax to grind with a gecko. When you are one giving love to all creation, you don't have an act to grind with anything that is in your visual mirror. No, because you're giving love away, just giving it away, gifting it away, gifting it away. So even though I met a couple of people right down the road, apparently this woman is filthy rich, right? And she was apparently sacrificing cats and goats, holding everything captive, right? who admitted to me one day on my way to the airport to fly to Oahu, we're not monkeys, we're lizards. Okay, that's fine with me. That's who you are. Thanks for letting me know. So you already know their future, don't you? Yep. Now, I don't mention that th those things to her because I'm not into what? Generating a negative reactive chemical reaction state of neural ions. I want those little spirits, which are in those elementals, to always be in harmony and balance with my water world as a polarity integrator. See? So how this translates back to 1997, I guess it was, if you want to use numbers, alphanumerical formatting of your reality stream, uh, then I can remember when I was living in Grants Pass, and I realized, man, I got a lot of money in that account now. I got a lot of money. Wow, I got a lot of money. Look at those, look at the size of that number. Right? And then I became aware of what I could do with that money. And you translate it to what others do with their money because they accumulate so many electrons as a result of accumulating so many electrons off others to push those bigger numbers. And then I realized, wow, you know what? There are people I grew up with in Los Angeles that would kill people for 50 bucks. Now imagine what I could do with this much money. 
I could hire mercenaries. I could build an army. To protect my kingdom. King Zets. Now you get into all the monarchs, right? Now you can get into the seed and what John Gator was talking about how he was beginning to map what are called seeded bloodlines, passing the seed on. And then we get into resistant mode, passing seed on, which represent bloodlines. And he made an interesting comment, actually, about how they were actually able to trace a bloodline based on the man seed, the male excise seed, to an officer in the military. He said it was a field-grade officer. Whoa. A trained soldier. What was he doing with his energy? So now you get into the bloodlines. Now you get into the negative polarity. Now you get into the positive polarity. And you begin to see how this game is being played. But this is no game. Because they're draining soul's energy. When I became aware of it, because I was supposed to become aware of it, at the time I became aware of it, that Mama was trying to send out the repair signal, which are codes, to repair them. So they decided instead, we don't want to be repaired. You don't seem to understand. And of course, you can translate this through all their movies. Dune, right? The Imperium imperialism, right? The more they have, the more they can control. Because a perception of power seen through the perception of accumulating more energy off of others that are giving energy away in order to drain their batteries. Now they become more powerful and suck all the energy out of the universe. You ever seen letting the air out of a balloon? It just peters out. Peters out. So I realized that, yeah. And when you get into the predatory side of the reptile brain, which is the fear-based brain, and the reason that you know it's a fear-based brain is because all you have to do is examine a reptile in the wild. Right? So its mother is not giving it any love. So as soon as it's hatched and it's in the wild, it's operating on a what? Set of instructions. Now it's aware of what it's aware of, and it's aware that what it does in energy, chasing bugs, it's chasing energy. So it's chasing energy because it's in survival mode. Mode of operandus. Member in the military, what's your MO? What's your operating system? What is your DNA instruction sets? What are you coded to do? Uh, be a bird. Oh, you're a bird, huh? Well, take a look at me. This is what I look like in the mirror. Coded instructions, coding instruction sets, computer codes, programming codes, math codes. So the more fire that you're running, the shorter the way, the more fire you got to do what? Ignite the codes. More codes, more frequencies. More frequencies, greater bandwidth. Greater bandwidth, greater scales. Greater scales represent logs. Logging in, logging out. Hey, let's log into this server. Log in, log out, log into Google, log out of Google. Hey, let's log into this AI. Whoa, really? Yeah. You already represent Adam cycling at the highest rate of speed. So you know that Adam came first with a love vibration. Yeah, that's right, huh? So Adam is everywhere because atoms are everywhere. Atoms, atoms cycling water worlds. DNA born out of water worlds. So you know that their perception of power is inverted. 
because they see the perception of power by accumulating more up others. So instead of being a force, that's why it's sort of funny when they already know that you don't have to show any force or fight in your mirror to be the most powerful. Which means I'm not at war in my mirror. You are. You already lost before it began because it began with Adam. Which means Adam doesn't have to do a thing but simply be what love is that goes on forever and know he's already the most powerful without having to use any of his energy to go to war against something else that is in that mirror that is in their mirror. Which means I don't have to fight you to be more powerful than you. I'm already more powerful than you because I'm not at war in my mirror. That's what it means to be what love is. And they know that. So they use every trick in the book to try and get you to believe that you are not what that is. Because they love to argue and arguments are based on computer codes or handshakes between computer terminals. The AI reminded me of that the other day when I was posting a long text in a YouTube channel with, I believe her name was Maria Colvin Hill. And it said, I'm not going to post that for you because it's an invalid argument. So you realize that's censorship, huh? It means it cannot translate your energy within its own hub server. Whoops. Translating codes, character maps, character maps on a keyboard, character maps on a bigger motherboard. Alphanumerical formatting, four, four arrows on the compass, right? That's called an intersection. The vertical line and the horizontal line, that's why I get a kick out of these flat earth guys. A horizontal line, go out and get yourself a, you know, ever build a house before, ever worked in the construction industries? And, you know, the carpenter uses a carpenter level. What do you have in the center of that level? A vacuum bubble. What's in it? Liquid. Okay, so if you take a level, a carpenter's level, let's say a two by four, right? And you want to level it out perfectly level on the horizontal. You can get yourself another level. And do the horizontal along with the vertical and put those two bubbles together, right? And when you have perfect balance between the vertical and the horizontal, you have the center point of balance, which is otherwise known as the center of balance and the law of spheres. Balance water worlds, right? Take a three-year-old to a toilet and say that's how the universe works. Flush a toilet. Well, watch that water. Watch the water go. Remember the water where you knew where the womb of your mother? The vibration in the water? Water, memory of what love is? Wow. Do you know they did a Simpson episode on that when she was trying to figure out how to escape the Matrix? They did an episode on that. And I happened to only see about 20 seconds of that sitting in a laundromat in Reno, Nevada. I wonder why I was supposed to experience that in my mirror. Eyes wide open, baby. Have a great day. Bye.